Groundwater occurs in many types of geological formations under the ground, some of which can be accessed from the surface, while some cannot. The major four types of water-bearing formations under the ground are Aquifer, aquaclude, aquitard, and aquifuge. We will learn about each of these geological formations in detail. Let's consider a ground cross-section with the following terrain. We will assume the water table of this terrain as follows. A water table describes the boundary between water-saturated ground and unsaturated ground. Now, below the water table, there are small water pockets called geological formations or water-bearing formations as shown in the figure. This water is confined within gravel, sand, or clay. Different confining membranes show different characteristics. Hence, based on the water movement and storage properties, these formations can be aquifer, aquitard, aquaclud, or aquifuge. An aquifer is a geological formation that allows both storage and transfer of water from it. Here, the groundwater is stored within a permeable membrane that stores and allows transmission of water through it under ordinary field conditions. Unconsolidated sands and gravels are typical examples of aquifer formation. An aquifer contains saturated material that yields significant quantities of water to wells and springs. An aquifer formed under the ground can be unconfined or confined. When we dig a well penetrating a confined aquifer, we call it an artesian well. And, when we dig a well penetrating an unconfined aquifer then it is called a water table well. As aquifer is the major source of water it forms a major study of groundwater hydrology. More on aquifers and their types will be provided in the upcoming videos. 2. Aquitard An aquitard is a geological formation with a poorly permeable or semi-pervious membrane that only permits the storage of water, but are not capable of transmitting water in sufficient quantity. Sandy clay, shale, and silty clays, stratigraphic units, are examples of such formations. The figure represents how aquifers and aquitards spread within the ground. An aquitard transmits appreciate quantity of water to or from adjacent aquifers. An aquitard does not yield appreciable quantities of water to wells. As it is semi-pervious, it transmits water at a slower rate compared to aquifers. 3. Aquaclud an aquaclid is formed when an aquifer is confined by an impervious material like clay. Aquaclid is a geological formation of relatively impermeable material that permits the storage of water, but it is not capable of transmitting water in sufficient quantity. Hence, it does not yield appreciable quantities of water to wells. Clay is an example of such a formation. 4. Aquafuge an aquifuge is a geological formation of relatively impermeable material that neither contains water nor transmits water. Solid granite belongs to this category of formation. So, to summarize, we have Aquifer, which stores and transfers water. Aquitard, which stores water but transfers less. Aquaclud, which stores water but does not transfer water. Aquifuge, which neither stores nor transfers water. For more related videos, subscribe to our channel. Civil Engineering Fanatics